hello welcome to this tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how you can add bootstrap to the login system provided by django to make it look more appealing something more like this now if you're watching this video i want to believe that you already have a fair knowledge of how to use the inbuilt login system that is provided by Django. However, I will just walk you through what I have done so far. So what I have done so far is to create a, a new app called account and settings. It is here. It is installed. And when you go to the URLs, it is also here. A pointer has been added so that you can actually reference the page using the URL here. And when you come to the urls.py, which was also created, I have the URL patterns here. So we have the login view. And of course, because I'm using the inbuilt one, it has to be imported so we have from views import login and that is the view we are using here okay so when you run this this is what you get and let's try and see whether it is working good so it is working it has redirected us to the profile page but we do not have that yet and that is not even what we're looking at. So we will go back. What we want to do is to change the look and feel of it. We are not touching the functionality. We are only looking at the look and feel to make it look something more like what we have here. So let's go back. All right, so if you look at this, we have the template name, and so it goes into the account slash login and so that was also created if you go to the templates for the account we have login.html and this is our template that is rendering our page here all right so we have our style sheet here and i'm using the cdn content delivery network bootstrap here, so I have it in here now if you are also familiar with this you 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 know that usually what you do is to create a base template that will be extended to the other template however we are using just a single template here so it is also serving as our base template now when you come down here we have the the form so we have form method is post and if you are using the post method, it is very important that you bring the CSRF token, which is the cross-site request forgery. It is a Django security thing. It is very important that you bring it. Then we have our form here, and we have a button, this button here. Okay, so that is all that we have for now. And we're going to change or modify some few things. All right, so what we need to do now is to add forms.py here in the account app. So I'll just right click and I'll click here new file. I'll call it forms.py. So as usual, we have to import. Import forms and also we also import authentication form. Now we create our class. We we'll call it login form. 
and it will inherit from the authentication form. So we have username forms.car field. We have widget is equal to forms dot test input. And then we have this. Form control. There are other options that you can also pass to this dish tree, like the placeholder. Um, so this we have username. Okay, now the placeholder works like the label. In fact, they perform the same function in a different way. Let's use the two so that we can appreciate the difference. We have label, the same username. Then we have it for password. I'll just copy and paste because I'm lazy. I'll paste it. And we have password here. This will be password inputs. And here we have password. The same here. Good, so our form is done. Now we have to go to, let's save it and go to the urls.py. and add this to it, to the dish rate. Authentication form. Then we pass the login form we just created. Of course, we have to import it here. So we have from account.forms import login form. Let's save it and then go back. Let's check whether everything is good. Yes, let's go back and um, refresh our page. So we have A better looking interface. Now this is the difference between the placeholder and the label. This is the placeholder and this is the label and so you can choose to use one of them. So let's go back to our forms and um, clear the placeholder. Refresh the page. All right, so that is it. And I think this looks good. Now let's look at this. If you do not have this particular div container, let me just delete it and then remove this as well. Let's save it and refresh our page. Good, this is what you get if you do not have that div container class specified. So I will go back and undo what I did. Now I have them back and this is a bootstrap grid system that is being used. We are not going into the details of that because that is not the objective for this particular tutorial. And so we will just go ahead and save it 
go ahead and save it and then refresh our page good so let's log in and see whether it is still working so there you go we have been locked in just that we do not have this page yet as i said earlier all right so that is all for this particular video thank you for watching